day three of the comedians on board was a crazy crazy day before i begin let me start the fast track counter here so that we begin okay so what i'm going to do in this video is analyze the battle between biswa kalyan rath and samai rana now these two have been competitors rivals of each other a lot of backstory you know from cob3 comedians on board three days onwards but the game that they played today the two games that they played were truly truly amazing a lot of people say you know comedians on the board it's for fun it's just entertainment no guys it was really high quality chess so let's begin biswa with the white pieces plays e4 samai responds c5 d4 this is the mora gambit and it's supposed to be not very sound but knight c6 it is risky at this level e6 knight to f3 and a6 this is how samai plays the against the mora and biswa came prepared he castled b5 bishop b3 and bishop b7 so all good until now black would like to complete his development he would like to pl play bishop c5 knight e7 castles do it normally in this position white came up with an absolutely stunning move it's white to play try to pause the video and think what did biswa kalyanrath do here well kudos to you if you found this move knight to d5 now there are many other moves like rook e1 i was talking about bishop f4 bishop g5 bishop e3 you know in the commentary all of these moves are fine but knight d5 is simply too strong it's brilliant and well you need to not take the knight you need to play something like ng7 and the game goes on it's an interesting battle or you can even play knight a5 and there are many ways to continue where black has a good position but why not this why not take the knight doesn't that look like a mistake by white well some might chose this uncompromising approach but after ed5 believe it or not he has landed up in a lost position what preparation by biswa because now there is rook e1 check coming in also d6 is coming in and the knight is hanging so samai went knight e7 trying to block the file but then the pawn pushed on d6 knight to g6 uh, sorry he saw knight g6 and he saw that rook e1 check will anyway force him to part with a piece and therefore he played knight to f6 now here there are many many good moves the move that i really liked was knight to e5 because now there is a mate on f7 and it really is very difficult to defend against it if you play bishop d5 i have de attacking the queen and then after bishop d5 i am simply a piece up and winning the game now you can play knight e d5 as well but after rook e1 it's already game over the king has been caught right in the center and after bishop d6 well you know what's the move here guys knight to c6 hitting the queen and a check and it is over so therefore knight e d5 also doesn't work and knight e5 just finishing him off um rook e1 also very very strong pinning him and i think this was also winning he went knight g5 which is fine knight e d5 also uh, winning position bishop e7 and i was very impressed with biswa's next move i think d7 is winning after queen b6 and you continue playing normally with this pawn here i mean this king is never going to be able to castle the rooks are not coming in the game and white is winning but biswa chose a more forcing line a nice move takes and now took on f7 with the knight he forks these two pieces and believe it or not, i mean for a, someone who is rated around 1600 to play this way is very very nice not even 1600 you know close to 1500 queen b6 he took the piece now knight e4 i was maybe thinking that samai would go for a checkmate here but in the worst case there was a check and you can take this guy and then with this such a weak king i think white should have excellent position and winning chances he went uh, here knight e4 threatening to take this you know if you get very very greedy and do this then after knight g3 check at g3 there is a checkmate well that 
it should not happen so he went queen f3 good move protecting f2 took on e7 knight h8 rook h8 and now check king here and bishop e3 very well played by uh, biswa until now queen c6 and now comes another powerful move i was very impressed when he played rook d1 i mean it's it's tremendous move bringing in the rook attacking here now samai very very nervous at this point had a lot of time on his clock he was ahead on time biswa was low on time but it was samai who blundered here with knight g5 he simply missed that okay there is a mate here but bishop g5 comes with a check he missed it and after king c8 biswa could have simply played rook c1 and won the game winning the queen but he went bishop d5 equally strong queen c7 and now once again rook c1 would have finished it off but he gave took here and now he took here so he's a piece up he's pawn up he should be winning here maybe uh, a, a very clean way to win is queen f7 hitting the rook you the only way to defend it is rook h8 and then bishop f6 and you have taken away all the squares of the rook and you are winning uh, queen c3 was fine and now biswa just lost his cool at this point you know he started playing very quickly he wanted to exchange pieces uh, and somewhere here he gave up his bishop and then we moved into the rook end game this is where you know you could see that that time was such a critical factor and he should have played faster it's still winning for white but now he he got a bit nervous about this move and so he tried to stop it but lost a pawn with a check already the position is not so easy to win here the king uh, rook went here a3 and perhaps rook d3 is winning but uh, he went by the way here rook b3 was a better defense for black just trying to not get his rook passive rook a2 by samai wasn't great and then biswa came back here and now it's a draw but he he started to push his pawn in a very weird way now black has all the chances here check king f7 now both had made lot of moves quickly so they had time so king g7 check and now king h6 was the last and final blunder uh, of the game if he had gone king f8 i think the position would have been drawn something like this and next move you are threatening and black has to give checks like let's say king d7 check here king c7 um check king here maybe just rook a1 back h3 king e8 check king d8 rook has to come back and a draw okay but he went king h6 and now good move by samai here he was worried about rook f1 but black has a winning move which samai did not see in the game he wanted to play rook f8 here or or uh, he wanted to play rook f2 later but then takes an a1 queen does not win because of f7 this is the beautiful point it's a draw here so therefore the best move is king f7 then slowly like after king h5 you try to go rook b2 threatening rook b1 then you go rook a1 and now king f6 and the king moves faster here and black wins but biswa took here and after king f6 it was all over the black king came in and biswa had to lose the game heartbreaking game for biswa because you know he was winning out of the opening he had prepared the opening so well he could have very well won this but time plays an important factor and samai actually managed to hold on to the time very well so we went to game 2 this is by the way 15 minutes plus 10 second increment both the games and this time samai opened with 1 d4 now biswa responded with knight f6 c4 e6 knight to f3 bishop b4 and the nimzo indian c5 bishop g5 and biswa here played queen a5 better move could have been h6 forcing the bishop back and then going queen a5 so that the bishop can no longer come back to d2 but he played directly and then bishop came back castling a3 and here already white has a very very nice position i think samai could have just taken on c5 and he has the bishop pair uh, and a nice nice position actually as white but he played e3 
and 94 is nice here but biswa went d5 so when the opponent has double bishops you know guys you must try to exchange one of the bishops so 94 i really like taking one of the bishops d5 is not bad but i think dc5 should have been preferred he went cd5 and after knight d5 i think black is once again fine bd3 and uh, take take would have been around equal b6 but Biswa said, I want to close the position with c4. Now, this is where Samai did something very, very, how should I say, interesting, stupid, uh, a little bit naive. He said, oh my God, there's a Greek gift. I can sack here. King takes, knight g5, check my queen coming here. And he just on the impulse went in, takes, check, king g8. And he said, I'm winning. Of course, king g6 was also possible here, guys. King g6. But after queen g4 or even h4 it leads to a dangerous attack with the kings uh you know on g6 so therefore king g8 makes a lot of sense but after queen h5 knight f6 he just missed this he was so upset with himself samai and now biswa is totally winning i think a good way to continue was knight c6 but then you are afraid like oh no d5 my knight is hanging and then there is a mate here but if you calculate with cold-blooded thinking, you will realize that after knight e5, it's completely fine. Uh, f4, I have knight g6. Queen is attacked. If you save your queen, then I can play e takes d5. Once again, attacking the queen and black wins. So knight c6 was a good move. But Biswa played knight d7. Also quite fine. Second best move, e4. And now e5, stopping the pawn in its tracks. And this is where Samai played a move that really was amazing. I mean, practical decision. Black is doing really well. What is the move that Samai played here, which kind of opened up the game and made Biswa's task very difficult? F4. Well done if you spotted this move, F4. Because now if E takes F4, there is E5. Or you can even just castle. And then after that, there are ideas like e5, rook f4, the other rook joins in. I mean, this attack is just rolling with these pieces on the board. So, you know, you can't take here. The best decision here, in fact, the only winning move for black is queen e takes d4. And it's a, it's a good exercise in calculation because after e5, dc3 takes, takes, black is completely fine. However, if you play bishop d4, then I like that black has the move rook e8. In fact, even rook d8 for that matter, because after e5, you have knight to f8. Not an easy move to see, but now you unleash an attack here. And after ef6, rook takes d4, fg7, queen e7. This king is getting checkmated with this rook. And I mean, it's a very brutal attack. Even this is just winning. There are no checks. So rook d8 or even I was thinking of rook e8, e5 and knight f8. And it's just very safe. You can't pick this knight here because the king is here. You can castle. But then there is knight d5. Oh, sorry, first you need to play knight g6. Hit the queen. And then after queen f2, you can just play uh, knight d5. And it is totally winning. And so here, uh, it was a tough moment. But Biswa didn't play accurately. He didn't take here. He played queen b6. And now Samai latched onto it. He was thinking of long castling, which was a great move. But f takes e5, even better. Knight e5, d5, check to the king. Uh, king f1. And now came the move, bishop g4. Uh, in fact, it was possible to play this way. But Biswa thought it's a draw. And he didn't want to draw because he needed to win to force an Armageddon. However, I think after queen f2, this is winning for better for white because he is a pawn up here. Um, bg4 was an excellent practical try because the threat is if you play takes here, there is check, king here, check, king here and mate. However, Samai saw this and he played rook e1. Well done if you found this move. And then after rook e8, he just got checkmated here. In this way, Samai won 2-0 and now leads comedians on board, uh, all stars presented by Newton School with a full score of 9 out of 9. The other players who are doing very well are Joel on 8 out of 9, Tanmay Bhatt 
is like the special player in this event. Five points he scored. He beat Sumit Saurav today. And Vaibhav also climbing back with six points. It's going to be a very, very exciting tournament to follow. Keep going, guys. And well played, Samai and Biswa. Great job.